Hello, my name is Joanne Delisi and I'm the studio director of Celeste Piano Studio in Victoria, Canada. Welcome to another Quick Tip Tuesday. Today is part two of how to play your technical exercises without being bored. And uh, last week we played some scales uh, using uh, some different dynamic settings, a, pian a piano setting, a mezzo forte setting, and a forte setting. And uh, today I'd like to continue exploring uh, different dynamics, maybe using crescendos and diminuendos today. Uh, so a crescendo means we're gradually going to get louder, and a diminuendo means we're gradually going to get softer. And uh, why don't we use triads today? for a change. And a triad is just a three note chord. And I'm going to pick uh, D major <laughs> as my key for today. And uh, why don't we try something like this? We're going to take a deep breath. And then as we exhale, we're going to start gently at first. And then we're going to get louder. We'll go right up to a forte. And then when we descend, we're going to relax and end up uh, back in our piano setting. Okay, so let's try that. Get louder, forte, and then relax, and end piano gently. Um, as you get more advanced, you have to play your triads actually two, uh, two octaves, hands together. And so let's try that. Um, why don't we start gently like we just did. We're going to crescendo to the top of the first octave, and then we're going to diminuendo to the second octave. Take a deep breath, start gently, and then we're going to get louder, forte, and then diminuendo, and, and gently piano, crescendo, and then diminuendo. Uh, so that's just one way that we can experiment with crescendos and diminuendos. You can uh, do the opposite. We can start loud and then diminuendo and then crescendo again and then diminuendo and crescendo back to your forte. Uh, so use your imagination, try some different combinations of crescendo and diminuendo when you're playing uh, your uh, triads or your dominant seventh chords, your diminished seventh chords, your tonic chords. Uh, that way also your chords don't sound mechanical, right? We're putting some shape into it and uh, it makes it sound a lot more expressive. So that's it for today. I hope you have a great week. Next week uh, will be part three of how to play your technical exercises and not be bored. And perhaps we will experiment with articulation. Bye.